wanted to just go back to starting out because you were part of a parish and you would do performances there. Um, and we have some photos from your first communion parish, and someone else's. Such a good word, parish. No, there's two different eras, obviously. It's an <laughs> earlier era right there. So that's your first that's communion? That's the 70s and that's the 80s. It's clear, I think. That's, uh, that's um, first communion. And, um, you know, usually you wear white, you know, like you wear all white suit and like my brother there later, many years later. Uh, but I uh, insisted on the, I wanted it to be kind of like Saturday Night Feverish, so I insisted on the two-tone. I mean, like, literally, it was the biggest movie of its time, right? And that's my sister. And that's uh, my brother's communion in the 1984. You really dressed up for your brother. Yeah, I'm You're like 14 now. <laughs> I, I was so I was I, I remember that Pops outfit, up the man. Blue I loved that outfit. I, yeah, of, I had shoes on. that were aqua too. You that was that was break dancing years. I was a break dancer and I had a, I had a crew and that Is was that what right? that was about. Yeah. What uh, was your crew called? The Northern Breakers. I don't know why. <laughs> and I was Sir Popalot. Wait, Sir Popalot, can you show us any moves? No. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, pop a lot. What, what? Where's the invisible ball? Where's the invisible ball? <laughs> Back in the day, I knew where the invisible ball was. Let me tell you. <laughs> Sorry, that's just for any old b-boys in the house. I can tell a lot of b-boys come to this show. They're out there. They're just there. down low, quiet. They're my biggest fans. <laughs> 